guys so i have just come back from doing a little bit of shopping and i have just made this video and i'm really sad because i'm now making it again and i was almost done anyway moving on <laughs> i just thought i would show you what i've got so i went to wilkinson's tk maxx boots and matalan i also went to m&s but i ate what i got from there so i can't show you that what are you gonna do so yeah i thought i'd start off with boots so i mentioned in my blonde hair care routine that i use the charles worthington here it is the charles worthington um ultraviolet shampoo when i sort of purple shampoo my hair um and that i was running out i've literally got like the tiniest amount left um, and that they also do like a blue version. I don't need the blue version, but they have changed the packaging of it. So if you've seen it like this, it now looks like this. So this is now what it looks like. It's apparently free from sulfates, all day fragrance, neutral, neutralizing violet pigments, instantly banishes brassy tones for your brightest blonde with our salon strength formula. It looks, I think it actually looks pretty smart. Um, and the blue one, if you're looking for the blue one, if you're a little bit more on the orangey side, it's exactly the same packaging as this. This bit here is just bright blue. Um, and it's, like I say, very, very pigmented. It's currently on two for £10. Um, you can get the matching conditioner, but I didn't, I just didn't bother. Um, so yeah, I got that and it was, I think, I actually think it was 5 99 today because they've got some sort of deal on. So yeah, I just got this. Keep it on the theme with hair and Charles Worthington in purple shampoos and toning. I also picked this up because it was on clearance. So I have been keeping an eye on this in hope that it would go on clearance. So when I go to the hairdressers, Katie usually uses, at the end when we're all done, she'll put in this like purple mousse from the brand Milkshake. And basically she puts it throughout my hair. <laughs> it gives it volume, um, it's conditioning, and it also tones it down. It's very lilac this time, not violet. Um, pigmented so it tones it down while she's blow drying it and it's just like another added extra toner online it retails it all depends it goes from like 15 pounds on prime on amazon to like 20 pounds on not prime and it's really sad because i don't have prime um so i was always sort of keeping an eye out for a cheaper alternative that i could use and at the time before this was on clearance i think they must be changing the packaging um so they're trying to get rid of all the old stock this was originally £10, I think it was, and I was going to stretch and do it, like, stretch, <laughs> says the girl that will spend God knows how much on everything else. Anyway, I I was just sort of in hope that it would go on a deal or an offer or clearance or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it went down from £10 to £5, so I picked it up. Um, I'm guessing it will do exactly the same kind of thing as the milkshake one, but significantly cheaper, and alongside the shampoo, maybe... Maybe, and it, and it will be in the violet tone as well. Um, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, the next thing that I got from Boots, I really wanted it for my birthday. I'd asked James if he could get it for my birthday, as he didn't know what to get me. Um, I'd never tried it before, which is why I wanted to try it. And I really started to get into sort of skincare, micellar waters, um, try to ditch the makeup wipes and sort of do it all properly. Um, I mentioned in my other video, I got some makeup from number seven. Actually, I don't think I did mention it. Long story short, got some makeup from number seven, wanted to sort of treat myself to a higher brand makeup, come out with the worst acne ever, which I'm still basically getting over. Um, so I started to then really keep on top of a, a high skincare regime. So I wanted to try these out. If anybody's tried them, please let me know how you get on. Although by the time this goes up, I've probably already taken my makeup off. Um, and it's the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean 4-in-1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk. Um, melts makeup away. And it looks like this, in case you haven't seen it. I just thought I would give it a go, you know? I just wanted to see how it was. It smells amazing. I love a lot of the Soap and Glory range. I got loads of it for Christmas. Um, but yeah, James just couldn't find this. Um, nor could I, to be honest. Um, but it turns out it was obviously in the skincare range and not with all the other Soap and Glory stuff. So if you are looking for it yourself... It's in the skincare section and not where everything else is for Soap and Glory. This was £8, um, so a little bit more expensive, but if it's good, it's a big bottle and I can't complain. Um, to go alongside that, now I literally went for this purely because it looked so cool. Um, and it again is the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 um, Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. Um, and I don't really know what this smells like, I can't explain it, I'm no good with it. But it's got all like these beads in it and I just think it looks quite cool. 
yeah, don't know. We will see. Um, but again, it's just a face wash. It's got vitamin C in it, so it's really good for your skin. Um, just thought I'd try it out. Eight pounds as well. And the last thing I got from Boots, I think, I think, was this little Sharps Blueberry and Yogurt Nougat Bar. I am addicted to these. <sighs> addicted. If you like little snacky things, it's not what I thought. It's really chewy and mm, mm, really, really good. And I think they're about 60p or something. So yeah, already had one of them. So that is everything that I got from Boots. The next place that I went to was Wilco, uh, Wilkinson's, for anybody that doesn't know the abbreviation. Um, and I just picked up some of my Nivea Sensitive Care in Micellar Water. As I say, I'm trying to get into my skincare a little bit more. It might end up being, well, I feel a bit silly now after getting that. <laughs> Dickhead. Um, but if I don't get on with that, I've got another one of these. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I've also got the little Garnier one for travelling, but I don't tend to like that one as much as this. Um, and it's just really, really good. So the cotton pads, get it all off. It's on my cellar water. What more can I say? Um, really helped clear up all my face problem that was going on not so long ago with the makeup and um, the next thing i better show you because it will just keep rattling and i actually got it for the hamster now she's already had one of these before and it's just like a little i think this bit clips on the top of her cage she dingles here and basically she chews it she loves it she hangs from it she swings off it she makes a racket with it she wants to know when her dinner's coming um, and yeah she's just she loves it so three oh Made from materials that small pets love and gnaw. Even little birdies can have it. That's cute. Cute. Anyway, yeah, she's completely annihilated one of these already. So she's got another one. £3.50. Who can complain? Except James when the noise keeps going on. Talking of James, he also has been really, really loving the Wilco brand fruits, strawberry and pomegranate, fragrance explosion, body scrub. So although it's for him, I thought I would feature it because I sometimes nick it. He nicks my Pantene, I nick his body scrub. Now we're even. <laughs> so yeah, it's just this. I think it was like 50p. They are really, really, really cheap. It could be a pound actually. Pound or 50p, they always change. Um, it smells fantastic, cruelty free, all the Wilco stuff is. Um, and yeah, it's just like a shower gel body scrub smells absolutely incredible so james has got that also picked up for james <laughs> not for james for me and james and the flat um just the wilco bye bye bugs multi-surface cleanser foaming action um apple and apricot smell we've had this before it's 90p massive bottle and yeah we just pretty much use it on absolutely everything it's really really good for that kind of thing and then I got some paracetamol and ibuprofen for the girly days. Um, you know, you know how it is. Shitty. Um, so yeah, I think they're about together, I think they're 50p. So yeah, 25p each. Keep them topped up. And because yeah, I've got to grab the other thing that's behind me. One sec. Talking of the girly days, pains and whatever. Um, oh I dropped that in the in the first time I videoed this same one i just picked up um my pads so my daily ones just the body form um normal which is insane because uh, it's not always a normal flow um just yeah the little pink packet and then just the body form um 10 good night wings so at night you know you're rolling around you don't want to be like oh shit like what's going on um changing from tampons to pads about two years ago now was actually the best thing I ever did. Loads of people are like, ew, that's gross. But do you know what? Like, I can make a whole nother video on going from tampons to pads if you girls want that. Um, I am by far not bothered about talking about it. Um, and it honestly, it's changed, it's changed my life. So yeah, got some of them. Um, and then the last place that I went to was, have a tour. The last place that I went to where I only got one thing, I don't want to forget about it, was I went into TK Maxx. I looked in Boots to get another Tangle Teaser, but I didn't want to spend like, I don't know, like 15 pounds on a Tangle Teaser. Um, so I just had a quick look in TK Maxx. Now they've brought all these out, so I think this is really, really new um, as of late, because you know what TK Maxx is like. It's there one minute, it's gone the next. So if you want it, grab it. And it's just this marble lilac-y printed Tangle Teaser with a handle, which makes my life so much easier. And it just looks like this. The bristles are exactly the same, short and long. It's got a bit of writing in there. True beauty. 
happy days. Saved myself a tenner. And yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I'm dying to get it out. So yeah, going back to the Tangle teaser. Thank God. And then the last official place that I went was Matalan. And I was leaving this last because in my video when I first made it, before I had to redo it, I did it first and I actually felt that the flow of it went better the other way. Either way, so I went to Matalan. This is, why is this here? Ah! And I picked up just a couple of sort of springtime tops. Some of them were on sale, some of them weren't. Um, but yeah, either way. So I tried them on and I got this little sort of black um, blousy thing. This was only £5. And although it is quite sort of sheer and see-through, with a little black top underneath it, you'd be absolutely fine. Come springtime, you know, you want something to go over your shoulders, but not like really, really hot. Or even summertime, or uh, me and James may be thinking about going away and sort of March time it's away, wherever you go, it's still going to be quite cold, although the sun will be out. It's just something sort of put over your shoulder, but you can see it is quite see-through. So, um, black top underneath or just like a little t-shirt bra. Uh, I think it was originally £9. Yeah, originally £9. And I got it for five. So, yeah, that was a good little bargain. And that was in a size 14. So, I got that. And I just picked up some pants. So I was watching um, Emily on YouTube. Um, I can't ever remember it. I think it's like Emily, AKA Mermaid. Either way, she's a total awesome person. And she was talking about how she bought some new underwear and it made her feel really good and sexy. And I thought, Do you know what? I have got loads of pants, don't get me wrong, but sod it, I want some more. So I just picked up some, <laughs> why not? Just some really pretty like um, pastel-y pants. I always go for this sort of boxery pants, lacy style, French, French knickers. Um, and I've got some of these. And then these. Now they've all got tags in, or maybe one of them just had a tag in. For the three of them, it was six pounds. And there was one pair of knickers that I saw, which was just one and it was like six pounds. I thought, fuck it, get the same sort of thing, but get three for six, why not? And the last two things that I got was this, which at first I didn't think I was going to like. It looks really like vanilla on the screen, but I love these sleeves. I didn't realise it had these sleeves until I tried it and I just thought, hmm, pinstripes, I like that. So yeah, picked up some of these. Oh my God, I forgot I got shoes as well. I have to show you. And yeah, so just picked up this. It was originally, I haven't got the tag on it. She had to do the number through the barcode. Um, it was originally, I want to say 12 pounds gonna say 12 pounds and I got it for seven um so just a little bit of a discount it's I'm standing up so <laughs> um yeah it looks really nice on um it actually looks very smart on as well and with the blonde hair it looks quite nice as well um and I've also got some burgundy brogues that I got <laughs> I'm thinking of them shoes I got some burgundy cords um that I think will look quite nice with this I also got them from Matala and they're a bit big but I thought it might suit it quite nicely hello shoes that I was just talking about and then the last top that I got now I need to explain this it's mm, it's an off the shoulder cold shoulder top so it looks awful awful on the hanger it's got to go so this is it here now I really like these cold shoulder sort of you know tops they look really pretty and come springtime they're extra nice now they sit on my arms fine, but these bits should sit directly over my shoulders like this, right? But this make or style or Matalan or I don't know what it is, maybe they all do that. It sits like this and it just looks really untidy and I don't like it. So although this was 14 pounds, I probably wouldn't spend that again on it, but it does look really, really lovely on, but do go a size up because they are a little bit, a little bit snug. So I'll just pop that down there and then I'll grab my shoes. One sec. I promise you this is the last thing. So, oh shit. Just picked up these literally for a tenner. Just some nice little black pumps. Can pretty much wear them with anything. Um, you know, they'll look pretty smart. Ten pounds. Really like the base of them as well. They're really chunky and sturdy. They also do these in like a, kind of like this sort of colour actually. Uh, like a corally, pinky, blushy pink. Um, 10 pounds as well really comfy they're not too small they're not too big they're a size seven yeah they're all right they'll get somewhere um and i like them so tenner whoop, whoop. and that is everything guys i hope you enjoyed this video it was just like a little haul just to get me back into the swing of making videos again 
And yeah, anything you want to know, questions, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Oh my god, I haven't said that in ages. And I would love to hear from you. So I'll see you soon, guys. Take care, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you soon.